Are you struggling with fishy discharge? Does your vagina feel a little off? Does it smell a little off no matter how many times you wipe? No matter what you do, no matter what you put in, no matter what you use to clean it out, it just, the smell does not go away. Well, I think you may have bacterial vaginosis. You know how I know? Because I've suffered with it for like, most of my adult life, <laughs> unfortunately. Down below this video, I have a link to my step-by-step -step course where I show you exactly how I myself have, you all right? Where I show you step-by-step -step what I do to get rid of my bacterial vaginosis. The course is $10,997. I hope you take advantage of this opportunity. Bye. 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 Stop eating grass. You throw up because you don't, you're not supposed to eat that stuff. Go inside. Don't you throw up? You see? You don't eat that stuff.
Maxi with fries. Why do you want to go to the back? To the front. I just took you out. You better not bark at no one. Move. Go lay down. Touchy, throat boy, throat on your nose.
Diapers. Do you dare?
Natasha? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna put a little Heinz. Jesus, 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 oh Jesus, oh Jesus, oh how I love you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for providing me and my kids with food and milk, giving my baby her fries and ketchup. You know she loves that, Jesus. Thank you for keeping my baby happy and safe and healthy, Lord. She is such a big, beautiful little girl. Thank you, Jesus. I ask that you continue to bless us, Lord. Please give me the patience I need, Lord, to be the best mom I can be to Maxella. Please, please, Lord, I don't want to be angry. I don't want to be annoyed. I don't want to be aggressive. I don't want to feel mean and crazy, Lord. Please just fill my heart with peace, Lord. I'm following you, Lord. And I just need you to just help me be the best mom I can be, Lord. I trust you, Lord. I believe in you, Lord. And I feel you, Lord, and I can feel you working with me every single day, Lord. And I ask that you continue, Lord, to work on me and my family and my heart and my love for my kids. And just make me a very happy, happy mom, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. best leader of Christ and lead, best leader in Christ he can be, Lord. I want him to look up to you, be like you, be just like you, Lord. I want you to guide my son so he could be the best man in the world. He could be the best father, the best son, just the overall best person in this world. 
show what Christ, show what Christ has done in his life. Um, I ask that you continue, Lord, like I was saying. Please continue to give me patience and love and just, you know, just fill my heart with peace so I could tend to my kids in every way they need and I could be there for them, especially for this young baby who needs me much more than ever. And so, Lord, I ask that you continue to bless me, bless this milk that's going to fill his belly and make him a big, big boy so he can have strong vitamins, strong muscles and fill his body with vitamins, Lord. Yes, Lord. Just for now, just keep us happy, safe, and healthy, Lord. Keep keep my baby safe. Keep us away from child traffickers. Keep us away from sex sexual offenders, um, kidnappers, abusers, witchcraft people, all evil people. Lord, please just heal this world so that everyone can just be safe and happy and thriving and thriving this world, Lord. But please, Lord, keep us away from all kidnappers. Child traffickers, sex offenders, pedophiles, predators. Keep us away, Lord. Please, Lord. Thank you. Amen.
um, me and the kids are at Sprouts. Um, if you guys don't know, I finally got my EBT card. It took so long to get it. They kept mailing it and it was undelivered. So I had to finally send it to my biological mom's house and then she received it. So of course, you know, I had to splurge. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm not gonna talk too much because I don't have that much storage. So I'll just kind of show you guys what I get. But I want like raw vegetables. Um, I don't want really vegetables that have to be in the fridge. Because once it goes in the fridge, I like forget about it. So like I want things that are like okay to kind of leave out in like room temperature. I was thinking like carrots, um, like pepper. I don't want that many. Just like I just want to kind of try it out because I do want to eat more vegetables. But one, I don't like to eat cold vegetables. And then when I do want to eat the vegetables, they like already gone bad. So I want to be able to see it. And then I want to get um, some fruits and stuff for the babies. And Jets is four months so he can have um, little baby like puree foods, like oatmeal and stuff. So I'm going to see what baby options they have. Um, like I said, I'm not going to, I'll try to explain a little, but I'm a little worried my storage is about to run out, y'all. I need to upgrade my phone, I know. But yeah, so I'll show you guys right now. We're in the organic aisle. So let's see what they have. Max. <laughs> you want some vegetables and fruit? Yeah. I'll get you some snack. No? No vegetables? Kid 
these? These are Noka. Um, like little packs or something. Oh. They have different flavors. So I'm going to get strawberry banana, strawberry pineapple, and... So I'm going to get her these. These are um, North Coast um, little applesauce, whatever. Mango sweet um, potato and apricot. And then this is applesauce, but like with strawberry flavor. So far I have carrots, <laughs> and these are my herbs best. I have winter squash, I have bananas. Hi guys, we finally made it back. Boy was that a journey. The walk there was kind of a kill I and mean, I was like shit I gotta walk back. Um, but on the way back, so we were at Sprouts, and on the way back, we stopped by, me and the kids, we stopped by Wild Fork, and so this is everything we got. I'm going to organize it and show you guys what I bought, and kind of give you an idea of how much I spent. I did use my EBT card for both um, stores, so thank you, Jesus, thank you, Florida Department of Children's Family, for feeding me and my family. So I'm going to organize it so it doesn't look so messy when I show you guys. Um, but one second, let me organize it and I'll show you exactly what I got. Look, I guess he was hot in there. Look at his little rosy cheeks. Look at his, his ankles, I guess, were like, they hit the air, but everything else is like red. He's like hot here. And then Max's hands were cold. I was sweating now, so I don't know. Um, but okay, hold on. Okay guys, this is how everything looks. So I ended up getting these um, from Max. These are little waffles, apple carrot cinnamon, blah, blah, blah. I got three of these um, curly curls organic baked snacks. These are white cheddar. <laughs> I had one on the way. And then I also got one of these. I noticed these. Max really likes these. Um, Quill, cool, baby. Get down. Go get your other chair. Go, go use, that, use that chair. Here, look. Get, your, get that one. This one. Get that one. Okay. And then for the um, little pouches, fruit pouches, I got this one. Noka, strawberry um, pineapple. And I got one in strawberry banana. Kind of already opened. Or I think Max opened it. And then this is super berry. So it has like um, all types of berries. I got two pears. These are... Um, focus. I don't know. It says organic. These are I forgot what it said, but it was like a wild pear. And then I got three apples. Max, no, there's one, two, and then Max has the other one. I got these mixed nuts. Um, yes, yeah, sorry, sorry about that. So yes, mixed nuts. And then I also got um the same ones as the white cheddar. I got these in broccoli flavor. And these are for um, little toddlers. Um, they're kind of crunchy, so I'm like, oh, I'm surprised these are for toddlers. But nonetheless, um, and then we got, I don't know why I got so many of these like little fruit pouches. Um, and then we got these from North Coast. These are um, mango sweet apricot, sweet potato and apricot. I got this for the baby because he's four months. He could start eating food. This is Earth's Best non-GMO um, whole grain oatmeal cereal. I'm going to try these out. 
And then, yeah, these are the foods I got them. I got um, also Earth's Best. These are, focus, peas, carrots, um, banana, um, banana mango, and winter squash. The doctor said to give, um, when I introduce foods, give it like a week. So in case there's any reactions, I'm going to try to do that. So I might just do one and then hold off and then give him other ones. I don't plan on like feeding him like different things every single day. And then we got some blueberries. Um, we got four. These are from Alpine Fresh. Just four little packs. Then for me, kind of like my little cooking vibes, I got some Bragg with their aminos. This is like a smoky soy sauce. And then I got some Bless You Baby. Bless you. And that's, um, yeah, Bragg's liquid aminos. And I got some organic minced ginger. This is by Ginger People. I normally use powder, but I came across the mince one. So a little goes a long way. Bless you, Bubba. Okay. And then we also, I also got some sprouts, a green pepper, um, a cucumber, and um, the baby carrots. Yep, some sprouts. Then a wild fork. Um, my grandma is cooking it right now for my dog. I got these for my dog. I got two packs of lamb stew meats. And this is my first time there. I really liked it. Um, this is 100% grass fed and it's Australian lamb. Super cool. Then I got this, um, salmon. This is Atlantic salmon. Um, I'm not sure if it's organic or wild, but no, it's not. It's from a farm. But still cool. I like that because of the size. They did have an organic one or wild one. But it was a little bit smaller. So just got this one. I didn't even really notice the price. Um, I'll show you guys the price in a second. And then I got two of these large shrimps. These are raw, easy to peel. And they still have the tail. Got two bags. So hopefully today's Friday. So hopefully we can have this tomorrow, Saturday. And then Sundays we usually have like shrimp. And then I got the seasoning. This is... Um, oat smoked sea salt um so it's kind of like sea salt but obviously smoked so i'd like to try that um so all together um i spent at this place sprouts 127 um and then for the the lamb was 21.96 it was 10.98 each and there was another receipt I don't know what I did with the other receipts. Oh He's fussy. I'm going to make his bottle and put this food away. One sec.
Look at how beautiful the lamb looks. ¿Qué es eso negro que dice líquido ámico? Ámico. Ya entra y otra en los paquetes de los otros.
Sí. Es lo que es primero y la verdad, de verdad que todo. Las primeras. 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 Las Guys, so um, I literally just um, was outside and I had to spray the entire stroller, mainly the wheels, but I ended up just like spraying the entire thing because I guess when I was on my way here, I don't know what I stepped in, but I stepped in shit. And so I had to um, rinse the wheels and then I kind of knew I saw it, but I didn't want to believe it was shit. So I still brought it into the house. And then when I finally took a closer look, I was like, oh, okay, that's poop. So I had to spray the entire stroller. I had to spray the entire, the walkway, like the side I used to like walk into the garage. I sprayed all that down. And then I sprayed, because I came into the garage, I sprayed, I wiped and um, put Pabuloso here in this area where I walked it. And then I kind of parked the stroller here, so I had to wipe all this area. Yeah, I don't play about poop in the house, even though I should have probably checked. I don't know, I just, I was like, let me just get inside, and then I, I just didn't want to believe it was actually poop. I'm like, oh my god. And I noticed it when I was at Wild Fork, so there's probably like a trail of shit at Wild Fork too. Oh yeah, sprouts, who knows. So Jeff was a little fussy. I have gave him the bottle. Um, I let him kind of finish the bottle I gave him before we went on the trip. So it's kind of been a while. Um, and he's a little fussy now. So I was gonna make him a bottle, but then that's why I like to like have food on display. Like I don't really like like things like these. I like to keep them out on display. Then you see it like as soon as like I think of like feeding my kids or myself. So if I would have put these jars in the pantry, I would have kind of forgot about it. But because he was fussy and like I don't I don't feel like making a bottle right now. I'm like, let me like go ahead and give him this. This is what I bought. So right now we're doing the Earth's Best Carrots. Senorita. And he seems to like it. And it's obviously when they're four months, they can start eating this. But it even says on here four months plus. So yeah, I, I, re I really want to get in the habit of feeding him this because with Max, it was such a hassle. Because I kind of fed her late. So I'm going to start feeding him these and oatmeal too, the oatmeal we bought, the spring one. But I'm actually thinking about putting a little bit in his bottle as well, I'll start putting a little bit in his bottle. I don't want to put too much because if you put too much it doesn't flow out that much. But I'm going to start, you know, implementing these. Looking like a real baby. Ooh, baby. Yeah, I'm feeling better about this new phase we're going into because the bottles are so annoying, making bottle, 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 bottles. So this is nice, just kind of like opening a jar and just feeding him, not having to make shit, make sure it's the right proportion and all that. With Max, I'm not even going to get into how bad it was with Max, but with Max, it got to a point where I had to like open her mouth and just like shove it in and I was like, okay, I'm going to stop, she's going to choke, but this is nice, he's not like fussy, he's not opening his mouth, but he's not spitting it out like in this stuff. He's still learning. He doesn't know to open his mouth for it. And this is nice too because, I mean, I'm usually the one that watches him. 
But if anyone were to watch him, this is like a nice little snack to keep them like entertained and I'll have to like feed him a bottle. I'm just, I'm ready to get out of this bottle stage. And Dutch ate the lamb. It's like really, era como más suave, ¿cierto? Pero era más blandita que la, que la carne normal. So whatever he does spit out, I kind of just scoop it and put it back in his mouth. And these are maxi spoons. Right when I was about to throw them away, I got pregnant. So I was like, let me keep them. Oh my god, I feel like you're not hungry like that. I'm not really sure when I should stop. I don't know if he'll let me know or if he's gonna just finish the whole thing. Oh my god, it's sneaking his eye. How did it get up here? Mm, now he's opening his mouth. <laughs> Getting his bowel movements ready. That little tongue. What are you doing with that little tongue? <laughs> what are you doing with that little tongue? Now. 
No more? Okay. Do one more. And then we could try again tomorrow. So now, this kind of holds them over. Now I can just make the bottle. Mommy! Mommy! You like it? Can I get your appetite? <laughs> He's spitting it all out, Bubba. Is this it? Is this it? Uh-huh. It's a little messy eater. A little messy baby. A little messy boy. <laughs> No mas? And the doctor said I could give her water. Him, <laughs> him I can give him water. <laughs> I'm not ready to give him water, but um, yeah. Maybe after I give him a bottle or something, then I'd give him water. But I just don't want to give him water before he actually has his milk. Manasa puede calentar el horno. Wash you up. I'm actually gonna give him a bath. I think he has to poop. I'm gonna give him a bath. I've just been kind of washing him in the sink um, the past couple of days, but I think he needs like a thorough like bath bath today. So let's go ahead and do that. He's probably gonna poop, but if he does poop later, then I'll just wash him in the sink. But yeah, I'm not gonna wait for that. I'm just gonna give him a shower now. Cut it, cut it, you. Show them your shoes, Maxie. Ooh, Maxie, what is on the bottom of your shoes? <gasps> oh my God, that is shit. Max, when'd you step in shit? Yeah. Tonight's gonna be a long night, guys. I gotta clean this whole house. I gotta spray the backyard now, the back porch, the front. I don't like shit, guys. Oh my gosh. I don't know when you guys will see me next, but I haven't eaten. I gotta take Jets a bath. And now I gotta wash all this shit. Who knows where that shit's been, what it's been through, how far it's came across the house. This is my life, y'all. This is when this is what happens when you're adventurous. When you're adventurous, you step in shit, and it gets all over your house. Right. Okay, guys. Good news. Um, I do remember Max when she was playing outside earlier. She took them off like around here. And so when I basically she didn't make it all the way over here, guys. She just the shoes maybe like pushed here, the back part, and then she took them off near the couch. So I'm just gonna clean this living room area and then when I get a chance I'm gonna wash shuts. So when I get a chance I'm gonna 
hose, the back porch, thankfully. So what I do is I wet this. I already sprayed with the Pablo, so I diluted it with water. Um, so I'm gonna wipe and then I'm gonna rinse in the tub. Gross, maybe, but that's better. I clearly can't use the mop even if I wanted to, and it's yeah. just so much easier just to wipe and rinse and just continue. That's how I do it. If you guys have been watching me for a while, that's how I usually clean my floors. So without further ado, I'm not gonna keep. Um, wiping and then showing you me rinsing room. But just know that after I wipe a good amount, I will rinse it in the tub. Usually in the sink, but because it's poop and all that, I probably just won't, but you know. I literally was about to say, 
This is why you need to pick up your dog shit when your dog shits outside. But I'm clearly like contradicting myself because I clearly didn't pick up my own dog shit and now look. Everyone needs to really just get it together. We all just need to like, come on. We need to pick it up. Like we cannot leave that stuff there because it can get a little crazy. All right. And now I have to bleach the tub because now I gotta take Jets a bath in the tub. All right, I just gotta do it, I just gotta do it. You clearly see there's some dirt, dirt, shit, trash, whatever. First spray down. Now I'm going to bleach. I'm feeling a little better, at least it's my own dog shit. My dog is healthy, so it's not that serious, but it's obviously still shit. But if it was a random dog, I would be freaking out right now. Kind of how I did when I realized I just rolled in dog shit with my stroller. Hey, I don't know if I'm gonna get poisonous gas disease, so let's spray some Lysol too, why not, it's right here. I normally would just bleach it, but because you guys are watching, I'm like doing a lot of stuff that I normally wouldn't do that. Why not just use the whole bottle for you guys? Like perfume. Okay, I am going to let that sit for 10 minutes. Let me close the door so no one gets poisonous cast disease. Alright, let me put a timer. Oh, I gotta watch Max's shit shoes. In que lo con las cosas de dress, what mojo la vara o con que? Yo voy a tener que sacar la mierda, no? Oh, okay, guys. Now. The moments of truth. We gotta wash these little shitty shoes. These little shitty shoes. And then after I gotta wipe this area. I thought it was like wet grass, but you know. Ma, eso no se saca en el monte. Si. Okay guys, my grandma told me to hose it out here. And yeah, this was much needed because I forgot Dutch threw up earlier. If you guys noticed, I forgot Dutch threw up. He was eating grass, so yeah. I'm gonna just spray all this shit. So yeah, just watch because I'm like annoyed right now. I don't have time to explain this anymore. Clearly, like, this is not a fucking, I mean, I, I, I'm not upset, but I'm not happy. But I'm feeling grateful, but I'm not annoyed. That's how I feel.
I knew better than to do that. I don't know why I didn't just wait for the shit to dry up and pick it up tomorrow. But yeah, you're not... I mean, shit is kind of fertilizer, but I just remember in biology that they said that, like, back in the day, people would shit in the water, and that's how, like, a whole bunch of people died because, like, they got, like, salmonella or something. Not salmonella. I don't know what disease comes from shit in the drinking water. But yeah, so that's not a good idea because obviously this is going to run off into our water system. So it's not the best idea to spray, put shit in it. <laughs> Technically, that's what I just did. Um, I guess either way was going to happen, right? Whether I threw it in the way in the woods or right here. But yeah. Let's wipe these shoes in this. Yeah. My head hurts, I don't feel good. I need to eat something right about now. Um, my grandma made chorizo. Public fried chicken vibes. Hmm. They left me my favorite pieces. Thank you, Lord. This should be good. I got a wing and a drumstick. And I'll finish the chorizo. says content creation is not a real job you're right it is I will not argue with you on that one watching TV, my head hurts. El mal tiempo que ha dejado la destrucción y muertos impacta unos 30 estados. Y a primeras horas del día, el hielo y la nieve interrumpió la salida de miles de vuelos y la cancelación de 6,000, según Playa World. Los caminos resbaladizos ya habían causado congestión y accidentes. El mismo panorama vivía en Iowa, autos y camiones abandonados en la carretera que ahora se teme se convierta en bloques de hielo debido a las cálidas temperaturas. The news is saying that the snow is like, uh, she said like Iowa, um, that like cars are like sliding and crashing and like they're like leaving them abandoned on the highways because there's just so much snow. That's so scary. Look at this. Look at this thumbnail. Hold on. 
Look, guys. Look. See the man grocery shopping? And this. And this. Crazy. I probably should watch it, but... It's all kid stuff. This TV has all, like, maxi stuff. I Let me... Have some Grant Cardone, why not? Uh, Peach McIntyre just showed up. Let me put Peach McIntyre. I need some, like, ghetto inspiration. The day you gave your clear choice of dental implants changes your struggle with missing teeth.
Mira, mire el arroz. Mami, coma.
But now they sell a big bottle like this in Dollar Tree and they got other flavors. When y'all watch my Dollar Tree vlog, here's the vinegar everybody be talking about to help them lose weight. They got different flavors now, wow. So that's apple cider vinegar, apple cinnamon flavor, apple cider vinegar, Concord grape and hibiscus. Did I say it correctly? Here's some more juicy juice flavors. This one is strawberry banana. I don't like this juice. I don't like apple juice. I'm not really into the other flavors for me personally, but it is on logo. We already have fruit. We already have salad. I don't think that's going to be an issue, Peach Patch. My husband will let me know later if he approves of this or not. I didn't even consult him. I'm going to get me some tomatoes because we definitely need tomatoes. This 
only $3.69. I remember growing up, all we had to make was some mashed potatoes or some rice and sweet peas on the side, and we were good to go. But y'all know that I'm just still a little individual microwave dinner, so I know that it's like, you want to cook something quick, then you do this with some instant mashed potatoes, and you done. Dinner done in like, I don't say like 30 minutes, because you can put these in the oven and forget about them. They're going to heat up in the oven. You can pop them in the microwave. That's crazy. I got such a big family. I have to cook all four of these if I do. Hell, though, with my stomach, it's a... <laughs> well, for us, it works. Look how high the little TV dish is. Peach Fetch, I remember when you could get a banquet meal for just like 89 cents. Then it went to a dollar. Now they are a dollar and 99 cents here. Do y'all know how much these cost at Walmart? Comment down below. I don't really go to Walmart, so I don't know how much they cost, but I might get them those or those little kid cuisines. For the quick kid cuisines, they only got the little hot dogs. Mini corn dogs. I don't know if the kids will enjoy this as much. That's $3. This is crazy. I like HEB. They have decent coupons. Y'all know we don't have HEB in Florida. And I have to say, HEB was nice. And they had so many exotic fruit so they definitely were like great compared to Publix but I love Publix because it's always peaceful this is like it's 19 now this used to be two dollars and fifty cent at Walmart at Publix it's always been a little bit higher but it was like three dollars now these are just as much as the kids meals but it's perfect to have them. you don't feel like cooking y'all know I gotta teach this class in a little bit my kids can kind of do whatever I like the meat right here. Mm -mm. I feel like all of the banquet meals are good. It tastes really, really good. So
Maxie, come here.